Good morning to you, my dear friends, on Tuesday morning. And I pray it's not as blustery or windy where you are, because here it's bitterly cold and very windy. It's an indoor day, or as Sister Teresa would say, a duvet day. And welcome to dear Jan, and we pray that you have a wonderful break in the coming days. So we begin our morning prayer this morning by lighting a candle for two very special people, for Rebecca and James, who are experiencing some personal issues that's affecting their family and friends. But we also remember all couples who are also in difficulty at this time. And we remember Jimmy. Our prologue to the Tuesday morning communions. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother, God, the earthly Mother and all the great Masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Tuesday morning, we commune with the angel of joy, saying, angel of joy, excuse me, descend upon earth and give beauty to all beings. We then reflect and feel ourselves absorbing vibrations of joy from the beauties of nature as you contemplate the colors of the sunrise and sunset, the song of a bird, or the aroma of flowers. And now for the divine office of lords. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this morning for Lent, Songs of Thankfulness and Praise, Jesus Lord, to Thee we raise, manifested by the star, to the sages from afar. Oh, sorry, wrong hymn, that was for Advent. God of Thy pity unto us Thy children, bend down Thy ear in Thine own loving kindness. And all Thy people's prayers and vows ascending, here we beseech Ye. Look down in mercy from the seat of glory, pour on our souls the radiance of thy presence. Drive from our weary hearts the shades of darkness, lightening our footsteps. Free us from sin by might of thy great loving. Cleanse thou the sordid, loose the fettered spirit. Spare every sinner, raise with thine own right hand all who are fallen. Glory to God the Father, Mother everlasting, glory forever to the sole begotten one, with whom the Holy Spirit through the ages reigneth co-equal. <clears throat> and now for the first antiphon for Tuesday morning. The man with clean hands and pure heart will climb the mountain of the Lord. And now we read Psalm 23. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. 
Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The man with clean hands and pure heart will climb the mountain of the Lord. And the second antiphon, praise the King of the Ages in all your deeds. And now we have a canticle from the prophet Tobias. Blessed is God who lives forever, and blessed is his kingdom. For he afflicts and he shows mercy. He leads down to Hades and brings up again. And there is no one who can escape his hand. Acknowledge him before the nations, O sons of Israel. For he has scattered us among them. Make his greatness known there and exalt him in the presence of all the living because he is our Lord and God. He is our father mother forever. He will afflict us for our iniquities and again he will show mercy. But see what he will do for you. Give thanks to him with your full voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the Ages. I give thanks to the Lord of my captivity. Sorry, I give thanks in the land of my captivity, and I show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn back your sinners and do right before him, who knows if he will accept you and have mercy on you. I exalt my God. My soul exalts the King of heaven and will rejoice in his majesty. Let all men speak and give him thanks in Jerusalem. And now we pray, glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Praise the King of the ages in all your deeds. And the third antiphon, praise is fitting for loyal hearts. And now we read Psalm 32. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the lyre with the ten-stringed harp and sing him songs. O sing a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill, for the word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. <clears throat> the Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sets all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes, and all the dwellers on the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. <clears throat> the Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in times of famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord as we place all our hope in you. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise is fitting for loyal hearts. And now our scripture reading for this Tuesday, and it's from the prophet Joel. Come back to me with all your hearts, fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken, not your garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, and ready to relent. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, it is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters and from the evil soul. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus the Christ, to the Holy Spirit of God. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And now for the Benedictus Antiphon, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And now we come to the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And now, my dear friends, we come to our intercessions. Let us bless Christ, who is our bread from heaven. Response, Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. Lord, give us a share in the bread of the Eucharist. Fill us with the blessings of your paschal sacrifice. Response, Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. May we take your word to our hearts in faith and obedience. Yield a harvest in us through our perseverance. Response, Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. Make us eager to fulfill your plan for the world, that the Church may spread the great message of peace. Response, Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. We have sinned, Lord, we have sinned. Take away our guilt by your saving grace. Response. Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. And this morning, I pray for each one of you. I pray for Jan and her forthcoming break for eight days. I pray for all not logged in and for those who will watch this live recording at a later time today. I pray for those who have no one to pray for them. And I remember the many names on our intercessory list for prayer. And we pray this day for Rebecca and James and their two children, Benjamin and William, who are suffering at this time due to personal issues. And we hold them in our hearts and we thank Almighty God 
for blessing them, for nurturing them and supporting them. <coughs> and we call on Rebecca's mum and dad who are in spirit to watch over their daughter at this time of deep unhappiness and sadness. We pray for the whole family of God, all faiths and none who are wounded, who are hurting in mind, body and spirit. For all whose lives have been blighted by mental illness or suicidal ideation. And at this point we remember a friend of Jan's called Jimmy. Let us pray for peace and unity in the hearts of every child of God and in the whole world. And now let us just bring our own reflections, our own thoughts, our own worries and fears into the presence of God. And with Jan we pray for all gathered here, for world peace, for the three schoolgirls who've gone and left their families in East London, to work with ISIL in Syria. And thank you for your prayers, Jan. And this morning I want to read to you a first century Aramaic translation of the Lord's Prayer, if I may. O Father, from whom the breath of life comes, who fills all realms of sound, light and vibration, May your light be experienced in my utmost holiness. Your heavenly domain approaches. Let your will come true in the universe, all vibrations, just as on earth that is material and dense. Give us wisdom, understanding, assistance for our daily needs. Detach the fetters that bind us, karma, like we let go of the guilt of others from our true purpose. From you comes the all working, the lively strength to act the song that beautifies all and renews itself from age to age, amen. That is a beautiful translation from the Aramaic first century prayer of the Lord's Prayer. So let us now pray our closing prayer. Look with favour on your family, Lord, and as at this time we restrain the desires of the body, may our hearts burn with love of you. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And that brings us to the end of morning prayer for this Tuesday morning. And as I blow out this light, I blow the peace and the love of God to you. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Paxet bonam om shanti. Solo di caritas. Salam alaikum. Peace. Have a beautiful day, dear friends. And keep safe.